Hi everybody, it's Ramona, welcome back. And it's time for my weekly wax empties. I have a couple of candles and some wax melts. Um, I had an extra day off this week because I was on call, so I did get through a little bit more, maybe than what, or more candles, I guess, than what I've been doing in the past. And I do have three candles. I didn't melt them all in one week, but I just finished them off this week. They, they were started, you know, probably before I went to Italy and whatnot. Okay. So enough to chat. This uh, first one was a sand and fog candle that I got on TJ Maxx. I got a couple of different ones. This was the first one I warmed, burned, and it was lavender vanilla. And it was mostly lavender. It was a really pretty candle while burning. It performed good for the most part. It did tunnel a little bit at the end. I tried to get one more burn out of it, but it just, this wick here's down to its nubbin. Uh, and it wouldn't ignite. So um, the throw uh, was okay. It was maybe, a, I think I called it like a five or a six out of 10. However, it was mostly vanilla and minimal lavender, but it was still, it was an okay candle. And I still have a couple of more of this brand, not particularly this scent. Um, so I'll probably, you know, obviously I'm gonna melt, the, you know, burn the rest of them because it was an okay candle. It just didn't give off as much lavender as I would have liked. Um, I finished the Root Candle in Candy Cane. This um, is in their Shimmer Collection. Gorgeous candle when it burned. It does have a little bit of soot close to the top there, you can see. Um, but it burned all the way down, self-extinguished. Um, no, I didn't have to tunnel, I didn't have to foil it or cotton ball it. It didn't have puny wicks. I trimmed it before each burn. So it was, a, a, you know, other than the soot, uh, it was a, performed very well. The throw, the scent appeal is really nice. Candy cane, like just a kind of a sweet peppermint candy cane. Um, the throw was medium-ish, like six or seven, I think I had it in my kitchen and it, it you know, when I was kind of close in the area of it, I could I could smell it. Uh, it didn't travel down the hall or anything, but so it was okay. It was, like I said, a beautiful candle. I love the Shimmer collection. Um, yeah, just really, really nice candles. I probably could if I was inclined, which I might, um, freeze the rest of this and just pop the rest out and use it as a votive holder because they're so stinking pretty. Uh, lit up you know when they're burning so I probably will do that so I'm going to set that aside right there and the third candle that I didn't even finish um, was the homeworks candle in um, which one is this holiday wishes so I got probably about three quarters of the way down up until that point it had a really great burn no tunneling no soot I didn't have to foil it cotton ball it the throw is really great, um, probably seven or eight out of 10. Um, and this one, the Holiday Wishes, is Sparkling Mandarin, Fur Needles, Spice Clove, and Frosted Moss. And it definitely was like a Christmas tree scent, um, mostly fur needles and clove. Definitely the clove came out there as well. I did not get much mandarin or any kind of citrus note or any kind of sparkling note in, out of this at all, but mostly got pine needles and the clove. And so it was nice. If you like clove, Christmas tree scents, you, you'll like it. Um, but this the last quarter of the burn, it just started tunneling for some reason. Um, and I cotton balled it one time, got it to even out again. And then the next two burns, it tunneled again. And so it's like, well, you know what? I'm just over it, really. Um, I'm not gonna work that hard on a candle when A, I have so many, B, I have so many Christmas tree scents, not to mention all my melts. And so I was just, I'm done with it. You know, I could, I probably would have probably maybe at least another two burns out of here, but um, I'm just not willing to do that. So I'm gonna just waste the rest of it. So, and then for melts, I have a few melts. Um, I melted this one that was gifted to me from my friend Jane in Nova Scotia from the Soap Company of Nova Scotia. This one is an Acadian Forest, and it is a soy melt um, in this, 
in, let me see, uh, spruce needles, essential oils, balsam, cedarwood, pine, and birch. And this was just a really good Christmas tree scent. It, the throw was pretty good. It had little um, pine needles embedded in the wax, and I just melted like one of these cubes at a time. So that was good. I, I did like that. Um, and because I don't have a Christmas tree up this year because I just came back from Italy and I'm just kind of being lazy. Um, my friend Jane also brought me a little mini Christmas tree and it was a surprise visit from my friend Doug in Nova Scotia too. So that was really a really nice visit. Um, let's see, I have some clams, pearls of winter from the bathing garden. So good. This is left over from last year. Oh, so good. I wanted to order more red apple, sweet strawberry, pink cotton candy, and raspberry ice, but uh, I just, I'm on a total wax ban. No candles, no wax. I'm done for a while because I just have to get through what I have. So um, that was really good. So anyway, I have not been to the bathing garden to look at their website in several months. Um, but if Pearls of Winter is available, I would recommend it. And I also got through a, an Ice Winter Cranberry, and I mixed this with, um, I mixed this with, uh, Fizzy Pop, uh, and it was really good mixed with Fizzy Pop. Um, and there's lots of Ice Cranberry, although there's still tons of it at Walmart and all over the place. Okay. Uh, okay, so also this week or last week, I got my Wonderberry, I guess maybe two weeks ago, my Wonderberry Wax uh, Holiday Sampler. And it came with, I think, six scent shots. I believe these are one ounce, one ounce, uh, one and a half ounce scent shots. And this first one was Christmas Comforts. And the other one was that I melted was Grandma's House. And I have to say, uh, they were good on cold, but they did not throw so good. Actually, I was kind of disappointed. Um, this one was better than the other one, Grandma's House. Um, because I've had Wonderberry Wax in the past, I've had no issues. They throw well. They send, you know, scent appeal is good. But these um, holiday scents... Uh, um, did not throw so good. So I don't know if I needed to let them cure. I wasn't going to let them cure because we're in the midst of the holiday season. So I wanted to melt them. I'm not going to save them for next year. Um, and so it, it, I'm wondering, you know, if they had been just prepped a little bit earlier and shipped out a little bit earlier so they would be ready to go, if that might have made them a little bit better. Um, if they just needed more time to cure. But like I said, we, here we are in the midst of the holiday season, so I'm, I'm not going to let them cure. I'm going to melt them. On the other hand, uh, this week I received my Rainbow Melts holiday sampler. And this one was Visions of Sugar Plum. And this was really good. It was definitely a sweet plum and definitely I could smell it. It was totally cured and ready to go. And I melted half of this scent shot at a time in two separate warmers, one in my kitchen, one in my living room. And it threw very well, like, you know, seven or eight out of 10. I was totally happy with this melt as opposed to the Wonderberry Wax one. So I don't know if it's a question of curing or what the issue was, but be that as it may. Okay, and so then I also went through a couple of these Colonial Candle uh, Simmer Snaps, which I ordered way back when, I think in the spring they had a really good sale on, I'm gonna sneeze, on a lot of their winter um, scents, and a lot of them were like 50 cents to a dollar, I think, and I got a whole bunch of them. And as I've said in the past, I sound like a broken record, Colonial Candle, Simmer Snaps, I've had great luck as far as throw goes. They smell good, they throw great. Eight, nine out of 10, really great. The issue with uh, Colonial Candle Simmer Snaps is the wax consistency. They're really soft, buttery, gooey, messy, a pain to deal with for me. Uh, some people might not mind digging it out with a butter knife. If, if you don't mind, go for it. Like I said, they're really great. 
They smell really great. This one is Spice Wreath, which was really good. Uh, the next one is Frankincense and Fur, really good. This one, this one is more Christmas tree e, Christmas tree -y. and the Spice Wreath is has that Christmas tree scent, but it has spices in it as well. But there you can see w just what a mess it is. They're really soft. You have to dig them out with a butter knife, like I, you know, I score them with a butter knife, and then you got to pry them out. They're just a pain in the butt to deal with. So, you know, if they change their formula, which hopefully wouldn't affect their throw, I would order them again. I'm not any, like again, not anytime soon, because it's just like sticking to my fingers. But it's just the formula of the wax that to me is a deal breaker. So uh, another one that I melted from them is Current and Holly. This also was really good. Oops. Uh, you know, again, I, I don't know what currants, I mean, I've had dried currants like in, you know, fruit bread or whatever, it's fruit cake, like, cause I'm the only one on the earth that likes fruit cake, but, um, it was good. Whatever, whatever I'm smelling is current and holly, I like it. And then the final one was vanilla eggnog. Another soft, gooey one. This was really good. Um, I like it, but I would have liked to have it to have more, uh, not overloaded, but just a touch more nutmeg in it to make it, to give it that eggnog feel. Because it is, I'm getting vanilla, lots of vanilla, and it, like I said, it just needs a touch of nutmeg to make it uh, smell like eggnog. So that's it. Um, I hope everybody has a great weekend. Tomorrow night is my Christmas party for work at one of the nurses' houses. So I'm going to make bacon-wrapped chestnuts. And I got the recipe off Pinterest. And if it turns out well, I will let you know. It sounds really good. Uh, so that's it. I hope everybody has a great weekend and your holiday season is going well. And... Um, I will talk to you soon. Have a great night. Bye.